take you inside of the student union here at Shaw University. We're keeping everything positive and good, good taste. People will remember that. of slavery down in Egypt land. God heard his people crying. I am Simone Malone. I could not conclude this moment of this short documentary about life here at Shaw University without being here in the chapel. What's happening, everybody? But on the last day, God delivered them. They crossed over the Red Sea into the promised land. I know that. Definitely no turning back. My mind is made up. I'm definitely not crazy. The word is coming your way in just a moment. What are you thinking right today? Yes, I'm happy, I'm the right Tell your family and friends you're not crazy for sure when you're going through trials and tribulations. My mind is made up. Yes, I'm happy, I'm the right Sometimes we may get a little low in our spirit, but my mind is made up for sure. I'm going to follow Christ all the way. What about you?
you got your mind made up for sure. It's Real Gospel with Real Harmony and Real Grooves. The late Reverend Milton brought in the Thompson Community Gospel Singers right here out of Studio 236. Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Simone Malone. For those of you that can see the video, hello to you and thank you so much for clicking on to a gospel show that is changing the lives of people all over the world. If you're celebrating a birthday for the month of April, happy birthday to you. I appreciate all of you so much for listening in. And you can always follow me on my social media platforms on YouTube. I'm right there, Trusted Voice and Radio, LinkedIn. Simone Malone, Trusted Voice and Radio, and on Facebook, Simone Malone. And you can go to my like page, Trusted Voice and Radio, and become a member of our group page of FMHDMS Radio. We aim to deliver you great music and words of inspiration that I believe is going to change your heart. I'm not going to waste any time. As I say, I'm going to get right into this word because I feel this word in a mighty way because of everything that's happening in our city of Philadelphia that's happening in this world with the violence. I just want you to know that you are not crazy for sure. You're not crazy. You may have some things going on in your head. You may be thinking some kind of way. People may have been saying things to you like you're crazy. You're off your rocks. Uh huh. But deep inside your soul, you know that you're not mentally ill and you definitely know that you are not crazy. For those of you that have seen the video is going to scroll right there across the screen uh, you can reach out to me at 215-224-4297 that's 215-224-4297 or email me at feelgoodman number one at yahoo.com if you want to reach out for any of the services that we provide i'll be glad to talk to you directly let's get into the word of the lord uh, that's going to scroll right there across the screen you are not crazy that is the theme for today you are not crazy you know i have candid conversations uh, with people and you know I, I say to them when they seem to be off a little what they're saying and doesn't seem right. I say, you know, you're, you're really crazy. And, and you know, sometimes people look at you and, and they say, I'm not crazy. I really am not. I may be saying something wrong, but I'm not crazy for sure. But I want you to know that you are not crazy, even through with the chaos and the trials and tribulations, through the storms of our life. It it just pressures us. It, it, it takes the, uh, you know, pain uh, that, we, that we deal with on a daily basis. And it just pressures us to so much. And sometimes we just seem like we're losing it all. But sometimes as adults, we just need a time out to refocus and gather ourselves to begin a new start, to start something out fresh again, because I want you to know that you are not crazy. Most of us feel a little crazy from time to time, and for some of us, uh, it may be all the time that we feel crazy. With this pandemic, I know that many people feel crazy. They just feel like they can't seem to get it back together again. They can't seem to get their thoughts and feelings in perspective. Periods of high stress can make you feel feel like you are losing it and can be surrounding yourself with people that are negative that make you feel that you are crazy but being surrounded by people who values are different from your own and losing a significant relationship and moving into a new life situation or other events that can cause you to feel off kilter can make you feel that you are crazy circumstances like these occur in your life and they naturally affect your mental stability mm -hmm. these situations that you are dealing with in your life presently you feel that it's affecting your mental stability the symptoms of your state of mind can range from having no recollection of putting things where you eventually find them to wondering if you're seeing things clearly when everyone around you seem to be in denial of what What's going on right in front of their own eyes? Uh -huh. Somebody can say amen about that. But most of us, most of us, uh, the key to survival at times is like these: is to step back a little bit. You got to step back. You got to breathe. Uh huh. You have to ask God to breathe something fresh into you. Take a deep breath mm -hmm. and regain your composure then you can decide what course of action to take because sometimes you just feel that you are crazy but I want to encourage you my brother and sister just because you seem to be a little imbalanced right now does not mean that you are crazy you don't have to see a therapist or you don't have to take medication unless you are chronically mentally ill and sometimes a timeout does the trick sometimes a timeout you know not talking to people not being on social media just 
just, you know, being quiet for a few days and just taking a little vacation and a break from your everyday situations is making you feel crazy. Like magic, you can feel right in your mind again once you take a little break and take some time off. And talking to God, thank you, Father, about your craziness uh, can help. Some of you know that there's some craziness in your home. There is some craziness on your job. There's some craziness, thank you, Father, even in your relationship, in your marriage, even in your church, even in your church. There's some craziness with the pandemic. There's some craziness, and you begin to see what is all about the situation that destabilizes you, and you can make changes from there. At other times, if the situation is particularly sticky, you may seek some professional help. There's nothing wrong with that, seeking some professional help, meeting with someone who understands the way the human mind reacts to stress and loss and difficulty can make you feel less alone and more supported. That's why I work professionally in mental health services because some people just need professional help. They need they need professional guidance. They need therapy. They may need some medication to help them stabilize their thoughts and feelings. But you know what? A therapist or a spiritual counselor can give you techniques that help you bring back to a sane state of mind, mm-hmm. to a sane state of mind so that you can feel the effects of the useful changes. There's nothing wrong with going for therapy. There's nothing wrong with talking to a counselor. Some people say, I don't want to tell people my problems, but let me tell you something. God, thank you, Father, is the greatest solution to all of our problems, but sometimes you just need you just need some professional help. They can also mirror your basic goodness, helping you to see that you're actually okay. You're actually okay. You're not crazy. Some people have been putting in your mind and putting in your spirit that you are crazy, but I want to encourage you for those that are watching and hear my voice on the radio that you are not crazy. You may be down right now. You may be feeling bad and people may think that you're crazy because you may be down right now. But I want to encourage somebody today to lift your spirit up. Oh my God, I feel this word in the mighty way that you, 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 I'm talking to you. You're not crazy. The main purpose of the wake up call that you may be feeling crazy provides you to let you know that something in your life is out of balance. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel that certain things in my life is out of balance and I have to get a recheck. Uh I got to get a tune up from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Somebody can say amen about that. Confirm for yourself that you are capable of creating a saint and peaceful reality for yourself. Try to remember that most people have felt at one time or another that they are just losing it. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just feel that I'm losing it and I begin to get on my knees and I begin to talk to the Lord. I begin to look up to the heavens and say, Lord, get me back. Thank you, Father. Get me back on track, God. Help to get my thoughts back on track, God, because the enemy is dealing with me. You deserve a life that helps you thrive. Try and take some steps today to help you achieve more balance and less crazy in your life. So let me begin to speak to you before I pray that some of you may feel right now with everything that's going on in your life that you are crazy. People probably have been articulating words to you to say, look, girl, you just crazy. Leave me alone. Look, God, you just crazy. Leave me alone. There's something wrong with you. They may be doing well in their life and you may be down and you may be having some struggles right now, but I just want to encourage you for those that are hearing me and watching me on this video that you, you, I'm talking to you. You're not crazy. No, no, no. There are some people that there are some serious things going on, but I just want you to know that even though you deal with the trauma, you deal with the stress, you deal with the setbacks, you deal with the hurt, you deal with the pain. Oh, Father, we all have dealt with it, but I want you to know today, thank you, Father, that you, I'm talking to you, you are not crazy. I want you to lift your spirit today and begin to speak positiveness. I want you to curve your words with kindness. Begin to speak to yourself and say, I'm positive. I have great self-esteem. I'm going to make it in life. I feel good about myself. I love myself because I'm not crazy. Even though I'm dealing with this bad situation, even though I may not be feeling well in my body, even though my relationship may not be going well, but I'm not crazy. I'm trying to get through this thing and we can get through this thing together. If we begin to pray and ask God to help us and guide us and touch us right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this word that you've given me because sometimes, God, I feel in my spirit with my trials and tribulations that I'm a little crazy crazy, but I realize I don't have no mental health issues, but Father, somebody that's watching right now may feel that they're crazy and they can't seem to get their thoughts and feelings in the right perspective. God, they seem to be off balance, God, because of the pressures of their family and their life. But Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to go through this message and I ask you to go through social media right now for those that are watching me on this camera.
hammer, God. And I ask you to speak to them, God. Encourage their spirit and let them know, God, that you love them and they're not crazy even though they're dealing with this, God. Help our people today to have balance in their life, God. Help them to surround their people, surround themselves with self, surround themselves with people, God, that are positive and spirit-filled, that can speak words of encouragement to them, speak words of motivation to them right now, because somebody right now that's watching me feel that everything is breaking apart, and they seem to be so crazy that they have to succumb themselves to things that they're not used to, to drugs and violence, God, to alcoholism, God, even prostitution, somebody, I'm speaking to you, even prostitution to somebody you have to succumb yourself to things because you feel crazy and you think you need all of these things to survive or to have balance in your life but you're not crazy you need to begin to speak to God because thou shall keep you in perfect peace whose mind thank you father is stayed on him and I rebuke the trick of the enemy that becomes up against our people today that begins to speak negative things to you to tell you that you're this and you're that and you're not going to make it in life no 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 baby no 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 you're not crazy you may be in the valley right now but you're coming out of this just like I'm going to come out of some things that I'm dealing with. I want to encourage you. You're coming out of this one. Oh God, I'm coming out of this one. I'm not crazy for dealing with this person. I'm not crazy for staying on that job. I'm not crazy for staying in that house because God, you're going to mold me. You're going to make me into a better person. Even though I feel like I may be losing my mind sometimes. Oh God, help our people today to get back on track. God, help them to see the God in light. God, help them to see that you're on their side today because you think Thank you, Father. You, thank you, Father. You are not crazy. Oh, God, I thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. There you have it right here out of Studio 236. I want you to know that you are not crazy no matter what you deal with. Uh huh. If you think that something is seriously wrong with you, you need to be evaluated. You need to give me a call at 215-224-4297. But I'm talking to you, my brother and sister. You, no matter what anybody says, you know deep inside of your soul that you, you, I'm talking to, are not crazy crazy.